we don't have time to talk about every single um, project you've ever done, but there's a few I have to touch on. Just Iron Lady, the origin of was the origin of that story. You bumping into her in 1994 and no. she's smiling. What was, what was where where did the idea the or, of doing the origin of that story a was movie come from? The origin of that story was that Pathé, who were making the film, had got a script about um, the sinking of the Belgrano. It's a really good script actually, but I think they just wanted a slightly wider, different view of Margaret Thatcher. And so again, I kind of went in and riffed. I didn't have the idea, but. I so had, they wanted to do a film about the, essentially the Falklands and that moment. Well, and that moment, that was the, at that time, it, that was the sort of build and the focus. And I had just read a really interesting article about Thatcher and her dementia. And I said, you know, it's interesting, isn't it? It's about the loss of power and the power of loss when, you, when you're an iconic figure like her. And from that, I kind of riffed on the idea of what would it be like if she's... And she talked about still mentally talking to her husband. Yeah. And I thought that's really interesting. What what would it be like if we looked at the very public figure of Margaret Thatcher against something which is very universal and private and human, which is the loss of the mind and the loss of of the person you're closest to? So that was the sort of prism to look at that film. I mean, what's interesting, what no one knows about that film is I did, I did lots and lots of drafts on it and then I got taken off a month before we started shooting and they brought in another writer and then that writer got taken off and I got brought back on. And I say that because if any writer's listening... In film writing, that happens all the time. I mean, you know, film writing, you you know, you deliver your opus, you think it's the greatest thing. And as you walk out the door thinking, that was pretty damn good, yeah, yeah. they all liked it, you can see the new writer coming in <laughs> and they're already pitching because they want something more funny or they, that character's not working and this guy's just done something great in that other movie. Um, and so film writing is brutal, brutal, brutal. And um, When you uh, write about a real person, are you writing with, like, is she always in your mind or did you think Meryl Streep very early? Gosh, that's such an interesting question. I think Meryl... I mean, Meryl was a god. I always said it's like winning the lottery getting Meryl. Did she know much about Thatcher before she had started? I think she probably knew as much as like any American Reagan, knows. Reagan I mean, she's a pretty Reagan. iconic figure, but certainly she's someone who definitely deep dives and does her research. Um, but as I said, you know, she's an incredible listener, and I think she's listened for over... You know, you, you, she, I knew that know that she watched a lot of films of Margaret Thatcher, and that's the incredible thing. There is so much on footage of her that's actually extraordinary and her speeches yeah. the legacy of her speeches are incredible she, she also Meryl Streep always seems fun as well you know I, I, I don't know what she's wonderful like, well, well, there's something lovely about actors who are so good but wear their craft quite lightly yeah and uh, that's a really good phrase actually she wears her craft incredibly lightly we did a we went on to do a film suffragette and I'll never forget us being up at the Telluride Film Festival which is a really glorious festival it's like all of these incredible filmmakers meet in this beautiful sort of hilltop town like it's an old western town and you go and see movies you go and see each other's movies because that's the thing you never get to see your yeah. movie, each other's movies and at the end we you know we all finish watching a movie of suffragette or something and it was one of a sort of midweek night and we went okay well we're just going to go off and have a drink meryl thinking you know because she's meryl street and she went i always remember her coming over going can i come out with you girls and we were all like gobsmacked that, that, that moment, she wanted to she like, wanted to hang with us so yeah yeah, she's wonder. She's, but I also I think the mercurial nature of her, her ability to shape shift, that comes from a sense of play. I mean, the best actors for me are the ones who have a sense of play. Mm. You know, and and uh, I, I, you know, I can. Do, I mean, I love actors. Love them. Love them. Love them. Um, but the, there are there are probably four or five that stay really close to your heart, and they tend to be the ones who are very serious about life, but very playful as well you know they've, they've, there's a lightness they're very serious about the work but there's a kind of lightness to the way they live their lives I guess what does Meryl Streep drink <laughs>